Wales. Well, lots went wrong. <laughs> um, and I speak more generally than just working at the MRC and subsequently. Um, I'm one of those people that failed the 11 plus just, I think. I took it again and I failed again. Mm -hmm. and, uh, then I fluffed my first degree and got a third and really, that was another blow, intellectual blow, um, for various reasons, because at the time I was more interested in politics, sex and music and so forth. Um, there was a certain amount of disillusionment at the end of my time with the MRC, which had a lot of personal stuff at the back of it and also because the, the unit wasn't going anywhere at the end and it was time to get out. Um, Looking at it from the professional level, there were lots of things I would like to have done, but we really didn't have the computing power in the, those days to, to actually do it. Like the storage capacity or the sheer cycles per second in the machines to do it. For example, to do any medical image into any real depth or sensibly do that kind of work. And I was immensely interested in that at the time. Um, that couldn't really be taken forward. More generally, I don't think I've had, looking at the science again, don't think I've had any great impact on science as such in terms of scientific discovery or mathematical discovery. Maybe around the periphery with these things I've done with in the pharmaceuticals industry, um, archiving of scientific information, the management of big data and all of that, uh, but not and there's no big discovery there. I discovered that you know, this enzyme does such and such and blah blah, whatever it might be. So I think that probably, at the sort of professional level, covers it. Um, I think as a kid I would have been really made up if I'd have just made some great discovery in mathematics or nuclear physics or I'd unified gravity with. Um, and uh, electromagnetism and the other forces. <laughs> now that sort of grand synthesis stuff would have really satisfied me, or made a contribution to that. 